Traveling Mail.com. This morning, we are headed off to go to a volcano, as we mentioned. And we had a bit of a last minute delay or something with the breakfast. So now we're eating breakfast in the car. The guide. Styrofoam containers and tons of plastic. So bad. Our guide is Alex. And we're going to meet another guy, Mono, on the mountain. Uh, and we're kind of excited to be out and about uh, checking out some volcanoes. Aren't you guys excited? So after a minor uh, mechanical issue, we made it to the volcano, and uh, <clears throat> the path is quite steep. We have another guy named Mono, and he's already been explaining some cool stuff about the area. We may not be talking as much on this one, because <laughs> um, but we just started out. It's about 80 degrees, 75 degrees, and uh, life is good. Puedes ver, esto es muy fuerte para. You notice if you try to, see, that's why they use it. Because when you dry it, feel it really strong. You try it. Can I have a knife? Can I have a knife? This chin had been. No, no, aquí tengo, gracias. Buena onda. Buena onda. So, this is what monkey calls, or they call it here, my makeup. Oh. Uh, and it will look great on Finn. Finn, don't get me wrong, you don't need makeup to look great, okay? But this will make you look. We are at the high point of our hike. We have this beautiful view of Volcan Pacaya, and um, I kind of thought we were hiking to the top of the volcano for some reason, but we're not because you're not allowed to. And also, it looks really steep and loose and hot. So we're pretty psyched to be here. We're gonna walk down a little bit into the lava field, roast some marshmallows, super touristy, but you know, we're here, we gotta do it, and have lunch and hang out and then we're gonna finish the trail by doing a loop instead of going back the way we came. But seriously, this is awesome, look at this. And all this lava flowed down off the side just in 2014 and 2010 and maybe today. So it's, it's around 150 meters. Right here, yeah. That's why they still find hot spots where we can find hot spots and do some marshmallow roast, roasting. What's going on with me? Because, uh, because the lava has still not cooled fully? or Fully, and there's some fluids okay. underneath as well. That it, it keeps that warm, but they don't disappear at all. They just. It depends on the temperature. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's erupting like a volcano. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that good? Oh Everyone my god, it's delicious. That is perfect. That was, cra that was like, everything was just great. The galletas are yeah. tasty. Mm. Very tasty. Mm. Very good. Is it like eating marshmallows from a volcano? Yeah. Good. So now that we're at the base of the volcano, we uh, just grabbed, put down our packs, and our guide gave us uh, skewers, crackers, Lucito. and marshmallows, and we roasted them over the uh, over some vents. It's really good, actually. I had I ate three though, and I feel sick. just had an amazing lunch with homemade uh, black beans and homemade flour tortillas, guacamole, uh, all the fixings, and uh, here in this lava field, which is pretty incredible. Now we're gonna head back down and we're gonna get picked up at a different location so we don't have to climb back up that giant hill that we just came down with the, uh, basically coming down sand, so. That's a bit of a relief. And we get to walk through this awesome lava field.